All right, Doc Positive here. We're going to make this fast because Lola, she was a showgirl, <laughs> but she don't look so good right now. She's got a run in with a porcupine. Uh, she and Dad and some friends were out on the Appalachian Trail or the Old Mine Trail in New Jersey, and it's daytime. A lot of times this happens at night. But uh, this is a freaking mess. So we're going to give her some intravenous drugs. Because don't try this at home, because it don't go well. Those suckers have a barb on the end. They dig in there. If there's a couple of them, sometimes you can pull them out. But when you have as many as Lola, the show girl, you are not going to get them out at home. So she is, and look at this. Look at that. That's the way Lola plays. She's hardcore. I told Toby, I said, Jesus, Toby, what the hell did she do? Eat the freaking thing or what? she may have. You know, but uh, the big thing is a lot of people say, oh, well, she'll learn. That'll never happen again. Yeah, what they learn is I freaking hate porcupines. <laughs> so the next time it's usually worse. And then the third time because they think it's going to be different. It's never any different. It only gets worse because Doc, I've been doing this for 20-some years we see the same dogs over and over for porcupine quills. Toby doesn't want to hear that, but that's the way we play here at Paws. Let's get her under some uh, drugs, get some drugs for Toby there. <laughs> yes, All please. right. We did get Lola under anesthesia, uh, like father, like daughter. She took a lot of drugs to fall asleep, but, you know. So, but this, uh, we can get a better view. Uh, we're going to get ready to pull these, but, you know, the real thing is, if you look inside her mouth, I mean, these quills uh, are everywhere. They're down in her tongue, they're around Lola's eye, so uh, we're not going to spend too much time talking here. We're going to get to work, pull these quills out, make Lola feel better. She'll be on antibiotics. She'll be on some uh, meds for pain and swelling, spend the night here with Doc at the Paws Veterinary Clinic, and be going home tomorrow. Bye now. At my other office, Doc has a staples button. You want to know what a staples button? That was easy. You got it. Uh, Doc's not quite sure why. Uh... Over the years, lots and lots of porcupine quill picking done, but uh, Lola was fairly, relatively easy to get these quills out of. Only spent about 45 minutes to get them out of there. Oftentimes, they break, they're embedded, and Doc figures it's not because of my porcupine quill picking prowess developed over years of practice, but with Lola, here, she looks better. This is the after math. All I can figure is because Toby came right in as soon as it happened, there was not a whole lot of inflammation. Doc usually sees these uh, after uh, overnight, after they've been in there for a few hours, and those quills do cause a lot of swelling and inflammation. And because this was a short time after it happened, Toby came right here from the Appalachian Trail. Not a lot of time for a lot of swelling, a lot of inflammation, and consequently, Doc likes Toby because uh, he got it right in here. No broken quills, got them all out. Give her some drugs to uh, reverse the anesthesia, some antibiotics, something for pain, and have Lola spend the night. Bye now.